So, there's this nifty game on Roblox called Survive and Kill the Killers in Area 51. And it might sound pretty odd, but it's one of my favorites on the platform, just because of how unique it is. I like how the game isn't literally just cooking simulator number 4 billion and 5, and also it's kind of just fun to mess around in it. The game essentially boils down to you exploring Area 51 while various killers try to murder you as the name of the game implies. There are guns around the map that you can find to aid you in fighting back against the killers, but pretty much all killers go down in one shot on normal mode, so the killers are barely a challenge. Anyways, not only do you explore the map for these guns, you try to complete all these objectives on this checklist. You can do tasks such as finding secret pathways or finding papers containing some really juicy lore that will keep you thinking deeper about this game for about 20 milliseconds. So since I have been playing this game for a long time and I've pretty much already done almost everything, I've decided to speedrun the game. So let's head out to Area 51 and start the speedrun. Ah, we've arrived. The fabled Area 51 it was formed by an approximate 2 million people about 2 years ago. Aw, oh, shot down. It was a bloodbath. I've infiltrated, and I'm gonna see what's inside. Alright, enough of that cinematic intro. Let's get into the speedrun. Also, I totally stole the title of this video from Easy Speezy, by the way, so I can spam him in the tags and get this recommended more. So, the category I'll be going for is Area 51 Personnel, where I need to complete these set of tasks. I also did some miscellaneous category speedruns a few days ago, just to have some fun, and I got all three world records in each difficulty for killing a boss called the Giant Zombie, but all of them are gone now because they changed how the speedrun was supposed to be played out, so now I am sad. You can still find videos of those speedruns on my channel, but enough talking, let's get into the speedrun. First, we will head into this warehouse where we need to transform into this neon green zombie thing. It will give us immunity to an area that does damage over time, and it also makes the area around you light up with a cool shade of green. So after that, we hop into this shaft and grab this ammo box and immediately head into this vent. This ticks two more things off our checklist. We drop out of the vent and run all the way into this area with a sliding platform, where we can do this parkour section to get to the ray gun. We can exit through this tunnel and enter a room with a ton of boxes. If we go into this small space, we can get a sniper rifle called SVD and then jump up these boxes to go through another tunnel. Traveling through the tunnel, we get to an area where we can find this guy sitting on a table. Unluckily for him, he's dead, but we can take the paper he was reading. We then go into this room to grab a shotgun and go into this room to get another piece of paper. We walk down these stairs and take a left to go into this room with a vent in the ceiling. If we take this vent, we end up in an area with some zombies Usually, this area is radioactive and will start damaging us, but since we morphed into that neon green zombie thing at the beginning, we are immune. Once we get into this radioactive area, we drop down here to get a submachine gun, and then we head back up. There's also a nuke here, but uh, let's just not talk about that, it's not important. We go into the secret tunnel, and after traveling through the secret tunnel, we discover this giant zombie. But we just ignore that and exit out through this wall and also collecting the paper as we exit. After that, we take a long stroll all the way to this canister of zombies and jump on top of them to go through another vent that goes into this long hallway where we can travel this odd machine that is actually a teleporter. We use a teleporter that transfers us to this bedroom, where we can pick up this key. This will be useful at the end. After a bit, we get teleported again to this machine that will upgrade our guns. We put in our ray gun and get on our way. We then travel to this M14, and then we go back up these stairs and go into this room. We have to input a code. The code can be found somewhere on the map, but I've already found it. Putting this code in opens up a doorway where we can find an alien. The one thing everyone wanted to find during the storming. But we just ignore it and since we need to speedrun, we ignore the alien and just go through this vent. We then have to travel all the way to this prison area. After going to this prison area, we can grab this pistol and go through one last vent to reach the sewers. If we go through these bars here, it takes us to an assault rifle. We can exit the sewers by going up this ladder and using the key we found earlier. We can open this room and finally end the run. And with that, we get a time of 4 minutes 55 and 590 milliseconds. Not a bad time in my opinion, and it gets us 5th place.